Hello everyone, this is Zara Animation and I am here back with the King's Podcast. I almost forgot to do the voice. Uh, with the King's Podcast, episode 11. Uh, I've been away for a while. Uh, the last episode I, uh, uh, was, I believe, four months ago. Uh, but that's, you know, uh, that's okay. You know what? Because we're back and we're on the groove. I've been dealing with a lot uh, over the last few months, you know, for like a little while. It's, uh, um, you know, it's, 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 it's hard to keep a consistent schedule, I guess, you know, like with like your YouTube uploads and everything. It's very hard to do that, you know, when you're like dealing with a lot because you know to produce you know uh, especially like the kind of content you know uh, that like you know that I do or like really anybody does it's hard to maintain that you know like throughout the year you know so there are gonna be some times you know where we go dark a little bit you know but it's still there you know the want is still there um uh, but I'm back and uh yeah uh for those of you uh, who uh, who watch on my second channel, I'll be uploading on there um, uh, fairly soon again. So you know what? Um, and uh, 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 if you don't watch that channel, um, I recommend you uh, might want to check it out. Now, uh, if you're into gaming and random stuff, you know that you don't see on here, you know. So uh, yeah. Uh, anyway, um. Uh, it's kind of what I wanted to uh, kind of like bring to light and kind of like make the center focus of this episode um, is what I kind of uh, was about to say earlier about, you know, like being gone, you know, but still having the want to do it and still having the want, you know, to uh, produce. Um, it's kind of along, uh, along the lines of that. Um, and this is really just like, like, derived from uh, 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 a conversation um, that I had uh, with two of my best friends, two of my really good friends, two of my amazing friends. Wouldn't live without them, you know? They're the best of friends, I'm telling you. Uh, Thundercat123 Studios, shout out to the Thundercast, link to that in uh, uh, down below, and Silent Storm Productions, fucking Kidney Bandit, whatever you want to call them, a link to the Uncreative podcast will be down below as well. See, I plug two in there. But uh, yeah, um, I mainly wanted to touch on, pause, <laughs> um, just, and just, just um, a little quick thing. This episode is kind of going to be like a part two of uh, the last episode like it's kind of in like um um it's in the uh like um the same sort of like groove uh as the last episode i'm gonna try my hardest not to repeat myself because that's annoying and uh but yeah um your passion for something right you know like and i'm gonna um of course, I'm going to use animation, you know, because that's, you know, like, it's what I do. So I'm going to try to, uh, 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 like, like, like relate, um, as much of what I'm going to say to that and like to myself, but you can easily, you know, like, um, just hear what I say and like slowly kind of like pick apart everything and kind of use it to like, uh, use it and like try to like relate it towards yourself if that makes any sense so normally when you you know you see someone and like you know a, they're on that grind you know they you know they have a true passion for something you know like for animation or whatever the case may be you know they're uploading you know, like they're on, you know, like uh, 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 their stride, you know, they're seemingly having a lot of fun, you know, doing what they're doing, you know, they're having a good time, you know, uh, they're improving constantly, you know, they're doing amazing things. And then 
slowly but surely, you know, you start to see, you know, like it's a little bit of a drop off, you know, they upload less, you know, you don't really hear them talk about a lot of projects they're doing, you know, like it just a, you know, like the energy that they once had, it just slowly kind of like goes away, you know, and it becomes less of, you know, just like them, 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 you know, they're animating, you know, they're doing their thing, you know, they're busting their ass, you know, and it becomes more of, oh, you know what, uh, that guy is doing amazing, you know, like uh, that guy is doing nice, you know, but it's not really about them, you know, like not to say that like, you know, like it's not like about like, um, it's like not about others when you're still, you know, on your shit, you know, because definitely is, you know, but it's, it's almost like you're taking a back seat you know but um it's it would be normal to see that you know and to like immediately think like okay you know what this guy has dropped off you know this guy you know you know he's not the same guy he was a few months ago he's not the same guy he was a year ago he's not the same guy he was a week ago you know something dropped off something's not clicking anymore you know in that way um, as far as you know the animation is concerned you know but and you know and that's kind of you know what's been happening you know with me you know over the last you know few months you know been dealing with a lot you know like the personal life stuff you know uh, here and there it's just shit storm after shit storm but you know as far from you know like what's you know like going on in your life and you know from like a mental aspect and all that stuff uh you know uh, but the one thing that i want to touch on is like d does that mean that that person has lost a step as far as like caring about what they do like 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 does that mean that you know they don't have as much of a passion for what they do as you know they once did you know and it would be normal you know to be on the outside you know looking in and to see that or say that you know and i'm not saying that you know um that uh that 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 uh bandit and you know um uh uh thunder you know like we're saying that you know like i'm not trying to like like rag on them i'm just i i i had that 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 conversation and like it made me think hard you know like um uh about it you know i started to question myself like damn you know what have i dropped off you know like is this happening you know like, all this stuff it's just like it made me think and my passion has not lost you know my passion has not gone away you know for animation you know like it's not any lower you know than what it was a few months ago you know it and 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 if anything it's forever growing you know the passion and love you know for what i do for for what I do I sounded that sounded a little weird there but the passion and love you know for animation that I have and have had is still very much there it's still very much a thing and it has been for a long time you know and like if I'm if I'm you know not animating something you know it doesn't mean that the passion is gone it's still very much there you know like i still love it you know you know when you're going through you know some stuff in your personal life you know some things you know can be harder to deal with you know than others and you know there are going to be a few months you know there where you just seemingly drop off a cliff and you don't animate anything you know but the passion and love for what you do is still there, you know? Um, I don't really think that the passion and love for what you do, like, necessarily, like, goes away, 
you know, if you stop doing it, especially if it's, you know, like, you know, because you're like struggling with something else. No, it's still there. You know, like I just just speaking, you know, for myself a little bit, you know, I still love animation. You know, I haven't released a video in a bit. You know, I haven't, I haven't, I haven't uh, 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 released Shine in almost a year. You know, it's been, it's been, it's, uh, it's been a minute since I've released a consistent amount of animations, I guess. But the love is still there. You know, the love is forever growing. You know, like it's always there. It's always going to be there. It's like, it's just like, as far as I'm concerned, it's, you know, it's always been there. You know, it's still here. You know, um, you know, there are days, you know, where I like I, you know, like I go on the YouTube machine, you know, and I watch, you know, some animation videos, you know, because I just I I love it. You know, like it's not just a matter, you know, like of me like doing it. No, I mean, I like to watch other people do it. You know, I like to study it, you know, and grow every day, G- grow every day, you know, because uh, there's, there's always room for that, of course, you know, but just like to watch it, you know, because it's fun to watch, you know. You know, so like if there's ever a moment uh, you know, where like you stop doing the thing that you love, you know, the thing you have a passion for, you know, don't, you know, they're, we're not robots, you know, there is going to be a time where you're just not mentally there, you know, to do it, you know, but that doesn't mean that the love is gone. That doesn't mean the passion, you know, like has, uh, falling off a cliff at all you know there are times you know where I'm like you know what I'm gonna animate and then when I go to do it I'm like you know I'm like I'm not mentally there so I just I don't do it you know because I feel like because I feel like if I go to do that thing that I have a passion for you know the thing that I love doing you know if I'm not mentally there then I'm not going to have as much fun as I would, you know, as if I was, you know, because like a while back, like a like two, three years ago, I would animate constantly when I would be going through stuff like and feeling bad and like feeling sad. I would constantly force myself, you know, to animate and you know, like over time, it would feel like a need, and that's not something it should feel like. You know, especially you know, like being young like that. Um, it shouldn't feel like a need. Like, oh yeah, I need to animate. You know, because I feel like shit. No, you know, like it should never, ever, ever be like that. Because over time, it's gonna get worse and worse, and then and then they're gonna start to hate it. You know, now it's gonna be linked to okay. You know what? I animated. You know, like so much. You know, because I felt like shit. Like, that's not good at all. You know, like, you shouldn't feel like you're forced to do something, especially something you love doing. You know, if it's something you have a passion for, there are going to be times where you're just like, you know, I don't want to do it. You know, there are going to be times where you're not mentally prepared, you know, to do it. You know, like nowadays, you know, like when I get up on that desk, you know, like I set my figures up, you know, or like I sit down at the you know, like on the uh, computer and like I load up, you know, Blender 3D or like uh, Clip Studio Paint, I get ready to animate something, you know, m- my mind is clear, you know, like, like I, I tried to make sure that my mind is set, you know, like it's at a point where it's like, okay, you know what, I'm doing this, I want to do it, I love this, I'm going to do it, you know, it's like I'm 100% mentally there that's like this is like a like a like a a, a uh, smaller thing but you know like oftentimes uh like like uh like a few years ago i used to listen uh, to music every time i'd animate you know like 
every time I would just be, you know, like listening to music and stuff, you know, and nowadays I don't really listen, you know, to music like too much, you know, like when I'm animating, because just like for me, you know, like, like, uh, de, uh, depending on the music, you know, like it can be like a distraction, you know, like any like sort of like sounds that are coming from like anywhere around me you know can be seen as like a distraction it's like damn you know what um it's kind of hard to focus you know and your mind has to be 100 percent clear so you can focus on what you're doing to uh to make the best out of what you're doing you know for it to come out looking as amazing as possible to do the very best that you can do not even the best you think it that you can do, but the best that you know you can do. You know, you're sitting back like, you know what, I got this. You know? You know, oftentimes, you know, I'll uh, pop on, you know, like a chill soundtrack or, you know, some Michael Jackson. I mean, I mean, I mean you know, Michael Jackson songs are, you know, like I feel with energy or like, um, you know, but that, that that's an exception, man. Come on, that's an exception, bro. You, you know, if... if, if he turned on Michael Jackson. I'm going to animate harder. <laughs> uh, um, <laughs> I mean, shit, I, uh, uh, but yeah, like, ha, huh, it's just <sighs> talking about all this, you know, like it's making me feel really good, you know, cause like I'm getting it out there and you know, it's, it's, uh, been a while since at the last episode of uh, the king's podcast it's been a while you know just to come on here and to talk openly and honestly to to speak genuinely just about animation and not just about animation about you know the mindset of animation the passion of it you know like you know like you know like you know uh does it ever leave you know like is it there like all this stuff like like I love talking about this because it makes me feel good like 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 as much as I love animation as much as I have a passion for as much as I love it like love doing it I think that the mental aspect of animation is something that intrigues me just as if not more than the animation itself you know because that's such an important aspect it's such an important thing to you know to think about you know because I, I, I it's just like four years ago if like the me now would have walked up to me you know you know to myself back then and you know back in 2017 and was like hey yo um Dragon LZ, you know, because I was still a uh, 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 Dragon LZ, and I was like, "Yo, hey, yo, are you mentally there, you know, to animate?" And I would have been like, "What? What are you talking about?" I mean, I, 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 I guess I don't know. Fuck off! I'm trying to animate Goku versus uh, the, the fucking uh, Shenron or whatever the fuck. I didn't. <laughs> I, I don't have a Shenron figure, but you know, it, it, you get it. But like. I, I I, 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 I I feel like as you get older and as you grow up and as you mature, you start to think a lot more about that. And, you know, it's just thinking about all this, you know, it's like over the past few months, over the last year, really, it's like it made me think, you know what? Damn, I would want to write a book on this, a book that's just focused on you know, the mental aspect of animation and just like, like what goes into it, you know, like the mindset and just all that stuff. And, and, and the most amazing, the most amazing, the most amazing part about that is that nearly everything I'm saying in there, you don't even need to apply to yourself. You don't need to read or listen you know to what i'm saying and go damn i need to follow that 100 percent. no you don't because at the end of the day you know this is the most amazing part 
you know, like it's all about how you feel. And if you don't feel in the similar way that I feel, well, that's fine. You know, you do what works for you. You know, like for example, uh, there are times where I, um, you know, the, there were times where, you know, I'm like, you know what? Like there are times where I don't animate every day. No, I don't animate every day. Um, I don't think that there was ever a point in time in my life where I animated every single day within the span of like, like a week. I don't think that's ever happened. You know, just, just like purely animating. You know, like I don't mean thinking about it, talking about it, learning about it, studying. I don't. No, no, no. Just like doing it, and that's fine for me. I don't like feel the need to animate every day. You know, like if there, if there, if, if, if there was a point in time, you know, like where I felt, you know, you know, like felt, I guess, like I'm inspired or whatever. You know to do that you know i would you know but that's not gonna work for everybody you know like you can't just take something like with something you do you can't just look at the way you do something and and go oh yeah you need to do that too like no he doesn't no she doesn't no they don't you know like it's all about how you feel about something all everything i'm saying has been has been pulled from how I feel about this and that's it and how I feel could greatly differ from how somebody else is or how how someone else feels you know but uh I, um, I'm kind of getting off a topic a little bit you know like with the book and all this other talk you know but it's just I just, I have these things flowing in my mind. I just, you know, I want to, I want to get it out. You know, shit. I mean, like I'm on a literal podcast, you know, so I might as well say it while I'm here, you know, and if you're listening and if you're absorbing, you know, like you're following what I'm saying, you know, that's cool, you know, but there are so many animation books, you know, that like dive into, you know, the principles, which are very very important you know like that that um dive into the how you know like into the what or uh, no no, no uh, uh, i'm sorry there are like books that dive into the what you do you know, as far as like the principles and 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 uh you know like just like a a animation itself you know but i think that a book focused on the how and the mindset behind it you know because like you can sit back and you can study and study and study and study and study study and practice all those principles and study everything you know and watch stuff you can do that all day and that's fucking fine that's amazing that's gonna push you over the moon um but you know um, i think that it's just just as important to not only take a look at that you know but to also look at you know the mindset that goes into the practice the mindset that goes into the studying you know how do you feel prior to that how do you feel prior to practicing all day how do you feel prior to doing a lot of the things that you're doing you know it's like I think that I've been focusing on that a lot more and like I think I think that I like that you know like I like you know the priors you know like okay you have a passion and love for animation okay that is your prior you know that is why you're practicing you know you don't just wake up and say all right I'm gonna study animation you know whatever done like no you know you discover it fall in love with it got a passion for it and that automatically is going to push you to practice it's going to push you to study it's going to push you to do all those things you know because your passion is your desire that's like literally what it means it's a strong and full desire you know to do something it's your passion 
you know, and the love, you know, is there too, you know, you have a strong desire for animation, you're going to study, you're going to practice automatically, you know, your passion is what leads into that, you know, the hard work, you know, that you put into animation, that you put into your craft, that you put into all that stuff, that is pulled from your passion you just reach inside of the passion and say you know what there's that hard work that's going to come out of there and that's like automatic you know i'm not sitting here saying that oh yeah you have to have a passion and love for something if you want to you know like do it you know the best because you know there are times where you know you may not love something and you may not have a passion for it but you're pretty damn good at it you know, like, and you do it pretty damn well, you know, you got potential, but I feel like that thing that you have potential for, the thing that you're really good at, you know, can be pushed so much further if you love it. You know, it can be pushed so much further if you have a passion and a strong desire to do that. You know, I feel like that's going to push you so much further, you know, like it can take you from just, you know, um, uh, that can take you from just seeing, okay, I do animation as a hobby, you know, like that's going to take you to, okay, I love this. I love this to death. I'm going to do it as much as I can whenever I want. I love it. I want to, I want to do everything, everything about it. I love it. And I want to just keep on doing it. You know, that's what takes you from hobby you know to okay you know what you know like i do it from time to time to just doing it you know to like doing everything else you know to like push you past that point you know like it's all it's a it's it's it's, it's, it's all about love it's a lot of passion you know love the people around you doing it you know like you you vibe with them. Hey, you're an animator. I'm an animator. Let's do it. You know, it doesn't matter, you know, how good you are, how bad you are, you know, like, or how much you need to improve. It doesn't matter any of that shit. You know what? You animate, I animate, I fuck with you, and that's it. You know? Don't get too wrapped up, you know, in, uh, you know, uh, the, the um, you know, the uh, competitive side of it, you know? Because just you never know. You know, just uh, sit back and, you know, have fun and enjoy the ride, you know, because uh, you never know when that dead end is going to come. Literally. So, huh, this has been a, um, a kind of a mixed bag episode. You know, I, I started off, you know, discussing, you know, the uh, um, the the. Um, inner workings of my thought process, you know, throughout, you know, the very, um, you know, through, you know, uh, 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 a conversation I had, you know, like with two, you know, um, two, uh, uh, amazing friends of mine and it slowly dipped off, you know, into like a more in depth of that, like a more like in depth discussion from that. So, uh, it's been kind of all over the place, but hopefully you guys can still follow, you know, uh, what I'm saying and understand me. And if you can't, you know, got any questions, ask away, you know, I'll be down to answer, you know, I don't care. Um, you know, uh, you know, I know that, you know, sometimes I, uh, stutter, you know, and I, and I, and, and I, uh, stumble over my words. So, you know, it can be kind of hard to understand what I'm saying, even though I'm trying to do my, you know, my best, you know, but, you know you don't know something ask away i'll be down to answer you know it's it's, it's whatever it doesn't matter you know um you know i ain't perfect up in here you know i'm just speaking from you know the heart you know in the my mind is all you know ha huh, but this has been the 11th episode of the king's podcast hope you guys enjoyed i uh, hope you guys are still sticking around still uh, supporting uh me throughout you know, time, you know, and if you're not, well, uh, hopefully I can, uh, catch you around one day, you know, like if I release an episode of shine or something and, uh, yeah, it's a, you know, whatever, you know, you, 
still watching, you know, you know, all right, cool. You know, if you're not, you know, what, that's cool, too. You know, um, hopefully uh, the content, you know, uh, that I'm going to be releasing over the next, you know, few months can uh, bring back, I get bring back can bring back, you know, some of, uh, I guess, like the uh, interest in, you know, like in, uh, you know, the channel. You know, um, so yeah, uh, I think that's just about it. And even now, I'm thinking of like a thousand other things I could have said. Part three coming soon. No, nah. <laughs> maybe down the road, but not right now. Um, uh, I'll see you guys later. Uh, more to come. So, peace. <laughs>